Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Spoon's Whip. I hope that y'all are having an absolutely fantastic beginning to 2017. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you, thank you for all the support on my channel. I really appreciate you dropping those likes and subscribing and leaving me comments down in the comment section so I can respond to you guys with answers to questions. Maybe I can help you. I am not above being helped out by you guys. If y'all have some suggestions for me on my channel, that would be fantastic. Leave it down there in the comments section I wanted to do a little update on this first day of 2017 of where I am at on my base building and we got a Sifiomi here we're gonna start our kibble farm very 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 shortly we uh, got six crop plots these are all medium crop plots the large ones they take more materials and more space and they only generate you just a little bit more uh, items in the crop plots you a little bit more uh, vegetables I was pretty happy about this I was able to hide the um, irrigation pipes and the irrigation uh, little tanks that pop out of the ground and stick up in your crop plots or in your floor I was able to hide them in the foundation I was pretty happy with that all you got to do is get it right above the water line right here and put it straight into the foundation and Bob's your uncle and you got it going on and you can see they're irrigated see just like that all done I think it makes it look a lot cleaner but like I told you kibble farms going up right here we're gonna put all of our dinos that we're gonna tame for eggs all along this back there's plenty of room back here and they're gonna be safe back here which is another good thing we finished our gathering boat and I called it gatherer one <laughs> which I think is pretty cool we've already used the piss out of this thing i mean we really used it a lot i went to orbivore island several several times uh with this collected a whole bunch of metal it's already up there going towards uh some bullets and some guns and some uh spark powder you know how it is taming stuff up in art i made a second story to this thing because these things right here these forges have 2500 health and this one has 1500 so they're not just going to get broke by one swing from a a t-rex or a sarco or something but these guys will and i wanted to keep them moderately safe and you know what I'm talking about, the the bins, the feeding troughs, the bins, the storage boxes, your bed, and mortar and pestles. And also, I did keep, I did put in extras in my smithy just in case I need another bed or materials to build something else that is up there. So, I did that. I did um, put a hatch frame over my little door here, trap door over here to offer a little bit more protection but also to be able to access it from the bottom which is a cool deal if I can swim around the right way I'll show you you're still able to get to it but it offers a little bit of top protection for your boat another thing that I would suggest is that put your ramp along one side of your boat it doesn't have to be on both sides I got it on the front and the back just for load, loading and unloading dinosaurs, but then I discovered putting it along the side of the of the raft like this. Let me show you real quick. Put it along the side of the raft. You can just pull up alongside the island instead of driving straight into it or being back behind it or something. You just parallel the island like this, load them up, and then take off. There's no maneuvering your boat to a particular point to get, be able to get your dinosaurs on and off. See, this Dodo already wants to join the fan club. Soon, Dodo. Very, very soon. We got to get our crops going over there, and we will be in business. I will visit with you shortly. And we're working on our other raft over here. It's taking a while being a single player. Takes a while to do. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to make this an RG taming raft. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do because I've been missing the pickup feature of, that the RGs have. So I think that that's what this is going to be. We have been clearing out all of the rubble along here so we can get our, a Bronto through here. So one of these little Brontos, it's not going to be like a war Bronto or anything. One of these Brontos of the 5 billion that are running around look at that guy hey buddy how's it going i just want them to be able to do the tail swipe and get a whole bunch of thatch and narco berries all at once see there's another one right over there you get that uh i don't know where i showed it to you last time but we put the um 
put my little boxes off to the side here uh, saddles right here and then we put our um, this is going to be for our blueprints smithy mortar and pestles this is going to be all the stuff that gets mixed out of the mortar and pestles they're going to go in these boxes extra storage along here we did put in a fabricator and i'm quite pissed off about this pillar right here i killed myself putting it in here and i didn't even wind up needing it so i was pretty upset but i don't want to die again until i get a quetzal or something i can get in there and demolish that thing we were able to get a ramp up to the start of our base lag thank you very much uh, a ramp up to the back of our base and this is where the base is going to be right here I was able to, let me get that gamma for you guys. That gamma. It's delicious, isn't it? But we weren't able to get a perfect square, but bases that are perfectly square are just boring in my opinion. But I, I'm going to make little rooms, like little dining halls, so maybe a shower. This is probably going to be the shower right here. Um, put a bed down, just that's not going to stay there. It's just there to be there. Um... Feeding trough right here. Of course, it'll be enclosed, so you won't be able to see it, but you'll still be able to get all the dinosaurs out here. See, they're getting fed way over there. They're hitting the feeding trough, so it's been working out pretty famous for me. I have got to get an RG going, and I've got to get a major meat eater going, too. The only T-Rex that I've been able to find so far is a level 72. The problem with that level 72 is is that it's right next to six Allosaurs, and I don't have I don't have the firepower as of yet, but we are mixing up firepower. We're mixing it up. We're getting stuff made right here. Actually, it's in here. We're making a whole bunch of bullets and weapons and guns and tranks to be able to take care of those pesky little boogers. They're really, really getting on my nerves. I don't like them because there's three of them. And always, always three of them is pretty crazy. And I'm going to show you one thing that a lot of people I see uh, that I watch uh, videos for people doing uh, things about their raft and underutilized feature in ARC is the overhead camera. If you got your raft, of course, and you got uh, third person mode, which is what we're in right now, and then you got first person mode right here, neither of those give you a very wide range of it. So if you're going forward and you do this, you just start turning. Go into camera mode, okay? Orbit camera. And go out, out, I said, and up. And you'll be able to see your environment a lot better. Now you can only drive straight, get that poop washed off of my raft here. You can only drive straight, so even while you're doing a 360 to see what's around you, you're going to continue to drive straight. Why is this beneficial, you might ask. Because you can do this. If you're searching for a megalodon, you're searching for oil, ichthys, all that stuff that makes your life easier in ARC, you can go under and you can search for drops along the beach a lot easier without messing up without messing up any of your chi. If you want to go right back to uh, out of camera mode, just hit the back button there. Try to get away from that glare a little bit. Now, if you're driving straight with the orbit camera here, let me show you. With the orbit camera, and you see an island coming up or something that you're going to hit, just hit the back button and turn it in. So all you have to do is drive straight. You really have to watch out for the uh, for the border that's around there because if you hit that while you got a dinosaur on there, it'll knock you off. So you really got to pay attention to your uh, what's going on. But you have to do that whether you're in first person or you're in third person view. But I really, really... It really kind of pains me to people giving all these tips and tricks and things like that. And they don't explain a lot of the little things that would make boating and a little bit of the stuff on ARC a lot easier for the newer players that are out there. So if you take anything out of this video, uh, just try to see things and do things that are going to make your life easier. It doesn't. It, this is such a small thing, but believe me, it makes things a lot easier for unloading and loading dinosaurs and the camera mode the orbit camera when we go look for megalodons believe you me we are going to be looking 
through our orbit camera to get that done so i just wanted to give you guys a real quick little tip thing for the raft show you where my base my base laid plans are headed and that i'm working hard behind the scenes to put on a really good show for you this year with uh taming up dinosaurs and getting breeding going and that's what i'm interested in i'm interested in keeping things going this time in arc and having new things exploring the new caves and actually i hope that i'll be able to get rid of the pillar here real soon i think this one little peninsula right here i'm gonna make it a graveyard i think because it's got a real nice view all the dinosaurs that are eventually gonna die uh on doing it this filming of season three uh i think i'm gonna put right here because it has a nice view and if they died in honor we'll put memorialize them right there along that little peninsula um and the reason why i didn't put the uh i was thinking about putting the kibble farm down here right next to the water i didn't like that idea because it's a lot less protected and it, you have to deal with the grass too and searching for eggs underneath that unless you're going to make a big old bin a big old building to hold them on which a lot of people do and that's cool uh, until your eggs fall through and you're not able to get them all so that makes things a little bit more difficult so i figured that sand over there is going to be the perfect little spot out of the way spot for us to put our kibble farm we also need to get our uh we also get, need to get our industrial cooker up and running our forge up and running we got so much to do but anyways just a real quick video a real quick update on what's going on on the channel I'm making it happen you guys and girls have a fantastic beginning to 2017 we'll see you later have a great day mm -hmm.